Our first film was Coraline, this kind of dark-tinged modern fairy tale. We followed it up with Paranorman, our supernatural comedic thriller. On the box trolls, we felt like we wanted to do something that was entirely different. There's nothing that exists before we start on these films. Every single thing that you see has got to be designed and built by hand. We start out with the storyboard. After we've written our first script, we draw everything out to figure out everything we're going to need to create, put in front of the camera. Every building, every prop, the characters have to be designed, all the clothing has to be designed. The puppets look real. They're shot with real light on real sets with real materials. We wanted the rain to be wet, <laughs> the fire to be hot, <laughs> and the smoke to be sooty and black. The whole look of the picture from the bottom up has to be created. The Box Trolls is a story of a little boy raised underground by monsters sort of finding his place in the world. We found the perfect hero for our film in Isaac Hempstead Wright from Game of Thrones. Eggs is a little boy, really. Let go! Who, who actually thinks he's a Box Troll because he's been raised by Box Trolls, by Fish, who's, who's sort of his surrogate father. <laughs> They're just quite cuddly, friendly little creatures who care for each other, teaching eggs about the box troll way of life and the dangerous upper world. Box trolls! Box trolls! Box trolls! <gasps> Gentlemen! Look at all these boxes left lying about. How curious, how peculiar. Snatcher is a character who's absolutely desperate to get rid of the box trolls. He's narcissistic, <laughs> he's envious. <laughs> all the qualities that are wonderful to play. Acquire them! Acquire! <laughs> I'm his right hand man! <laughs> Crystal is an evil, evil dude that hates those box trolls. Run! Here come the exterminators of justice! We exterminate justice! <laughs> Don't that sound like we're the villains? Huh. Nick Frost agreed to play Trout, and Richard Iwane agreed to play Pickles. All right, you squirmy monster. The days of evil doing are over. You really think these box trolls understand the duality of good and evil? Trout has a heart, you know. He's a, he's a deep thinker, despite the fact that uh, he's an idiot. Who are you? He's a very fun character to play anyway, because he's bats. <laughs> when I'm good, I get jelly. I like jelly. Jelly. <laughs> I'd always wanted to work on a big stop-motion movie that had the sort of scale and action adventure. I will destroy every last box troll in this town! <laughs> like it can figure out a way to do everything. I'd never seen one studio so committed solely to this one form of animation. If we devote this insane amount of time and energy into making these works of art, you want it to mean something. You want it to have some resonance. So that's what we try to do with every single film that we make. No more hiding, right? Right! In the end, the movie kind of proves that if you can't fit in the world as yourself, sometimes you have to change the world to fit you. <laughs> Never seen one do that before.